This is a dolphin fresco and the making of the dolphin fresco. A makeshift fresco studio has been set up in the front yard of the house. You can see paint jars with paste form fresco pigments. Bowls ready for mixing color, tones, brushes, etc. There is no worry about contaminating the environment with any of the true fresco material. High calcium lime, same as we use in agriculture for enriching the soil and medicine and for heartburn medications and dietary supplements. The same stuff our bones are made off. True fresco pigments are all the earth's oxides and minerals that come from the soil itself. Distilled water for mixing color and plaster. Andrew grinds Bianco de Saint Vicenia, white earth. Yes, white earth. The stuff that we see on the ground. And yes, with distilled water. That is it. No solvents, no binders. Calcium within lime plaster will bind the colors to the wall for centuries. One of the most kept secrets of fresco, the application of, of Intonico final painting plaster coat. Many established artists whose frescoes we adore were not aware of this simple system that has been developed centuries ago and kept as one of the most guarded secrets. Ironically, this system is the common application technique in traditional lime plaster employed by plasters around the world. Ian Hardwick floats Intonico coat before applying final painting skim layer. To achieve perfect attachment between the layers, consistently, consistent density and flatness of the plaster in tonico as well as the preceding erixio are applied in two layers with about 15 to 30 minute intervals. First layer of intonico is consolidated with flattened with a small wooden float before final intonico skim is applied. Did you ever wonder how Pompeians did those deep, seamless backgrounds of their frescoes? It was not that complicated. A thin coat of colored lime putty was troweled over fresh intonico, creating mottled look of the sky. The Pompeian sky background for the first Gironata of the dolphin fresco is ready. Now it is time for the painter to transfer the cartoon and complete the Gironata with the rest of the composition. There is no time to waste. Highly polished intonico is a very temporal temperamental surface to work on as well as it would allow for shorter working time. Although Gail and Nick, Dolphin Fresco patrons, granted Ilya and his team full artistic license, a trusted supervisor has been appointed, just in case. Cartoon. Full-scale drawing of the future fresco. Cartoons are drawn on regular paper with pencil, graphite, charcoal, sepia chalk, etc. The purpose of a cartoon is a thorough study and final rendition of the composition, light, shadow, details of the future fresco. It is a preparatory drawn, drawing taken to the next level. Correctly done cartoon is the stand along artwork. Although optional in other painting mediums, cartoon is essential when painting fresco not only as the main guideline, guideline for transferring the design onto freshly laid plaster, but also as the main tool and method of understanding and orchestrating the steps for painting of the corresponding fresco.